In Fool Me Once news, submitted by Ice Climbers. Film twice. Ice Climbers do really good in obstacle races. <laughs> ice Climbers, obstacle? I just know Ice Climbers as the characters in Super Smash Brothers. Oh, that's oh. probably what it is. Oh. I thought it was the ch guy and then the ch The actual Ice Climbers. Yeah, probably. So, what are the daytime? This is like in Super Smash, they're those cute little uh, characters. And they're in these parkas, and but then when one dies, you can still go on with the with the other Aww. one still alive. I hate that character. It's super hard to use. Yeah, very hard to use. Yeah, very hard. It's not. It's not a very like uh, easy character to use. Uh, so, <laughs> so in fool me once news, these are mistakes that smart people never make twice. Yeah. I love clickbaity articles like this yeah. because it what, would just yeah, it's gonna like, make oh, us all feel people, really yeah, really dumb. Like, there's an umbrella fucking term. For, I mean uh. You know, criteria for all smart people. Let, let me see what I do. Let me see what I do. I feel like I probably make the same mistake <laughs> twenty thousand times. Let me see. Let me hear. Let me hear what I do. I wouldn't I want to read this okay. article just because I don't want to find out that I'm dumb. <laughs> oh, I know. I think I'm that's dumb. all where we're headed. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. I think we're all dumb. Yeah. Everyone's dumb at something and really smart at something. Mm -hmm. True. That's or everyone's awesome. dumb when they're emotional. Or if someone could be smart as fuck, you can just get them emotionally riled up. They'll be dumb as fuck. I know. Mm -hmm. Number one. Believing in someone or something that's too good to be true. So they, so smart people will never make that same mistake twice. Well, I'm stupid because I gamble. <laughs> <laughs> and that happens way more than twice. <laughs> so the little paragraph that they have here, it says, Some people are so charismatic and so confident that it can be tempting to follow anything they say. They speak endlessly of how successful their businesses are, how well-liked they are, who they know, and how many opportunities they can offer you. Mm -hmm. Sounds like well, LA to me. Huh? Sounds like this city to me. LA? LA. Yeah. A lot of people do that here. Yeah. Oh, like that? Yeah, and it says... Oh, like drinking the Kool-Aid from uh, very uh, charismatic people? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not me. Yeah, so that would be someone that's too good to be true, right? Uh, then it says, well, it's of course true that some people really are successful and really want to help you. Smart people only need to be tricked once before they start to think twice about a deal that sounds too good to be true. Mm -hmm. Yup, I've learned that lesson so many times. I feel like that's a very, yeah, you're right. Because it's such an LA thing, you know, everybody's learned that lesson. It doesn't matter if it's happened to you one time or five times or 10 times, but we've all had to learn it. Man, I've been warning some people, dude, and they don't fucking listen to me, man. People get caught up in like the quick scheme so much. They like what they hear. They hear it and they're like, oh my God, that's like a deal of a lifetime. And it's like, motherfucker, that's why it's too good to be true. Yeah, I told a personal friend about something like that recently. They didn't care. Saw all the opportunity, and what I told them was, you don't get this much of something without somebody asking you for a favor in return. And what happened was, when it came time for him to return the favor, he was like, well, I didn't know I was supposed to return the favor back. And I was like, well, you just fucked yourself over. There you go, boom. Yeah, I think when I joined a pyramid scam, and then like, well, I knew it was a pyramid scam, <laughs> and all this stuff happened, and then like, I started seeing these kind of guys that would be like, it's the way you enjoy I know, that shit. I know. So, I like, so when I bought these magical pieces, <laughs> but you didn't even see his facial expression. He's like, "Am I doing a pyramid scam?" <laughs> That's how yeah. you did it. Charismatic, big ballers, all that stuff. Same with like get rich quick schemes, right? Like you, you do it, and you realize it's my fault. I was greedy. Like that's the reason why people get fooled is they prey on your greed. But people don't want to believe that they're greedy. They're yeah. just they're just like, yeah. well, it was his fault. He fucking nah, man. Like I take full responsibility. I was greedy. I wanted something fast for nothing. We live in an instant gratification society, yep. right? We yeah. want results now. It's like I was talking to some teachers because I do some talks at university sometimes. Um, we talk about you know whatever, but people you know schools sometimes bring me out, and you know the big thing I always ask like the organizers, well, what are things that you want to talk about? What are problems that like kids are facing these days that they weren't facing a few years ago? And they're like, well, because of like, because of Instagram, because of social media, because of how accessible everything is, people expect to be amazing at something right away. Because if like for example, if you want to take up drawing, and you like follow you know all these you know, amazing artists on Instagram, all of a sudden, you know, you, you just see the finished product constantly and you don't see the process. So you don't, you, you don't admire or appreciate or respect the grind and the, the like, the time that it takes to get there. It's that, what's that saying? It's like everybody wants to eat the cookie but they don't want to see how it's made. Uh -huh. You know, it's that same shit. Yeah. I've never heard that. Really? Maybe I'm just making up stuff about I like to <laughs> smell how it's made. <laughs> or is it, or is it saying, uh, that's the way the cookie crumbles. That's the way the cookie crumbles. I'm, basically, I want to talk about cookies. And what is going yeah, yeah. on right now? Was that your phone? No, man, that was my vibrator. I have a dildo on it. <laughs> 
Yeah, 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 plot twist. Yeah, that's No, true. well, that's actually one of them here. So failing to delay gratification is what you were just talking about. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Where, you know, smart people know that gratification doesn't come quickly and hard work comes long before the reward. Ooh. So. There's a study done on um, children, like in elementary school that they did back in the day to determine if there is a characteristic for successful, like what makes a successful human being, right? And it was the kids that were able to delay gratification ended up as adults being successful in money and relationships and all sorts of other things. The way they did the study was, um, is like, I think they use cookies or candy, but, but anyways, they're like, they'll, they'll tell the kid, you could have one now or you could have 10 later, which would you do? And then the kids that were able to wait for 10 later, they did the study throughout their lifetime and figured out majority of them ended up being very successful. The kids that were instant, like, I need it now, you know. Yeah. I would have taken the cookie right then and there. A hundred percent. I just need one. I don't need ten. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to eat that I one. I get sick after five anyway. Yeah, I'll be like, yeah. you start rationalizing yeah. it. Like, yeah. dude, why would you want ten? You can't even eat all of it. Like, I'll, I'll eat it slow. I'll eat it really slow. Yeah, dude, like, you'll eat the ten really fast. I'll just nibble on mine as you will end it at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> all right, next one. Doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. The definition of insanity. Yep. Yeah, that's what Albert Einstein said. Dude, oh, that's yep. what people with failed relationships, all right? Yeah, I do the same thing, get into the same fights, but they're like, why is... One game with the same dude with the same face tattoos, and you think he's gonna become, <laughs> you think he's gonna become a Korean pastor. It's not gonna happen, dude. Y'all change for you, baby! You know? <laughs> I love those guys. They're great losers. This next one says, operating without a budget. So, mm. smart people know that it takes a budget, and like for you to stick to a budget, like personally and professionally, it forces us to make thoughtful choices about what we want and need. That's true, Guys, man. Guys, I'm real stupid. I'm real stupid. <laughs> Amazon? I'm 0, for th I'm 0 for 4 right now. Really? Yeah. No, no, I, I think I, the first one maybe, but I, I don't, I'm not good at delaying gratification. Like I'm very, very, very impatient. Oh, so you gotta come right now, dude. That's what you're <laughs> God, just bam, 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 done. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. He never jacks off at night. It's the first thing in the morning. Yep. <laughs> he covered his whole face. <laughs> He threw a curveball at him. Everybody knows I'm the lazy fuck, bro. <laughs> it's all good, man. I understand, budgeting. dude. Budgeting, that's a hard one. No. You're not good at budgeting? You're Asian, though. You do the same though. thing know, over and over again, expecting a Asians different Asians are good at money with money, usually. No, okay, okay, maybe maybe I'm 50%. That's still an Asian fail. That feels like a zero. <laughs> an Asian fail. Yeah, it might as well be zero. <laughs> so hard on yourself. He's even grading himself. Dude, I'm almost, I'm almost this close, dude, for making my next year's resolution to delete Amazon off my phone. Wow. No. You buy that much shit? Oh yeah. Wow. So do we. I bought I buy so much <laughs> shit, dude. We What do you mean? All we? the boxes that come in, it's your name on it. For our house. <laughs> <laughs> like the high heels. I paid for that. The high heels. I paid for that. Jose, what you mean we, dude? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> you benefit off of everything she buys. The yeah. high heels and the yellow pants. Oh, you don't benefit from that? <laughs> oh, yes, I did. Uh, so I do spank bank. <laughs> All right, next one. Losing sight of the big pi picture. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. I hate the big picture because it's so far away. Give me the cookie now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still thinking about that cookie. It's like, where's the cookie at? Damn. <laughs> you promised me a cookie at the end of the summer. Where's the cookie? <laughs> yeah, where's the fucking cookie? Especially if it's warm. Oh. Actually, that would have been the trick. If they're like, you want one cold cookie now, <laughs> or ten warm cookies later. I, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll right. wait for the 20 warm yeah, cookies, yeah, yeah. dude. I walked into many a pizza shop, and, and there's a slice right in front of me, yeah. and I'll be like, no. I'll like, wait the 15, 20 minutes. Wait, you make me a See, fresh you pizza. Are, I am smart. See? Yeah. <laughs> See? Yo, real talk, you know Mario's cooking his ass? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I love how he just came on this show and he already knows your girlfriend's name to like the T. Yeah, I, I know a lot about Mario. Yo, but t I'll tell you this though. Yo, this is truth. Her cookies? Fucking hella good, dude. She made this cookie thing from this recipe that she learned from Lynn's friend. Fucking amazing. Best cookies I've ever had hands down. That was important oh, information. Oh, it's so it's chocolate chip chocolate. with a little oatmeal in it, dude. Oh, Ooh, I wanna try and that. It's fucking good. I had it the day of, fresh out the oven, and we had it the next day after Thanksgiving. Fucking so good. good, dude. 
I fucking love this woman and her cookies. The other food, mm. but the cookies though. You called it trash. You can't go. Mm. Oh, oh, I, no, I, 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 I say that as a joke. Mariel's food isn't trash. It's not good. <laughs> <laughs> is that better? I don't know. It depends. If she makes it in an instant pot, it's pretty decent. <laughs> but <laughs> you can't go wrong with that thing. Yeah, if it's not. We did go pot. wrong. Oh yeah, we did. <laughs> you did? How'd you go wrong with that? Uh, you left it in too long? No, I making? pressed the wrong button. I forgot what I was making. I was making There's like some chicken. Buttons. I know, I was making some chicken soup or something like that. And then like... It was supposed to be a clear broth and it came out brown. Yeah, because of all the blood. <laughs> Wait, hold on a second. That's not how you're supposed to make chicken soup. <laughs> I have no idea what I was so trying to So you just make. took the whole raw chicken and you threw it in there? I don't remember. It was bad. But it was supposed to be clear broth. That's what the pictures <laughs> showed us. And it was brown broth. Oh, you were following the instructions? I don't remember. Maybe. It wasn't blue apron I'm pretty sure. So chicken soup, typically you make the stock first with the chicken, you take those meats, and then you add it in after. You don't put raw chicken and then you create the mm -hmm. soup. So it's made with now the stock from the bones. Where were you? I blame you that I failed. <laughs> Yo, I can make, so I just been eating my own, so what I love about Thanksgiving is not the day of, it's the day after. Hold on, we're talking about smart people. Yeah, wow. let's go on the way. Yeah, no one gives yeah. a shit about your Thanksgiving. Yeah, yeah. well guess what? I was gonna make y'all chicken noodles. No, you weren't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next one. Not doing your homework. So <laughs> that's not true. I never did that shit. Uh, you do your homework all the time. When we all do our when homework now. When you buy now. stuff, when you you would like research oh, yeah. like a crazy mofo. Yeah, but in school I ignored that shit. Because well, it was stupid. Because it was we didn't see the it's purpose in it. But this is yeah, this yeah. is what I realized is the majority of the world does not do homework. Like if you train at a gym or whatever, right? Like if you're doing your homework there, uh -huh. they don't take it home and try oh. to do more beyond uh -huh. that. And and um, the way that we approach any hobby or business, it's that's exactly what we do. So I'm like, oh fuck, I didn't realize that that is not a normal trait. It's or, not? No, it's not. People just go and just start buying shit? No, no, not like that. But like the way that they apply themselves uh -huh. into hobbies and things, majority like, like, this, like the so person that go at your Muay Thai gym or whatever that's been gone for like five years, but since they only train at the gym, they don't really get any better. Yes. Yeah, they're not messing around yeah. shadow boxing the shower or shadow boxing the brushing the teeth. So, and I'm and I'm I'm saying that there's a lot of people that do. I'm saying that, but the way, like for example, sample size, right? Like you go to your whole gym and you think about the majority of people, they go there to train. That's their homework. They don't train at home. That's study me with my Chinese class. Stuff. I only practice Chinese yeah. when I'm And there's there. nothing wrong with that. There's a lot of people that do that. And and that, I think that's what they mean by homework, right? Not yeah, yeah. schoolwork. No, yeah. for sure. And yeah. then they're also yeah. saying like strolling yeah. into an important meeting unprepared. Like right, right, right. Because you get preparation. Get caught like red handed one time and you're like, no, that's never happened. Exactly, because yeah. yeah. that's the smart person. Yeah. yeah, but I do have I, yeah I do have opinions about the current like the educational system, right? Because it was oh, built a hundred years ago. Yeah, it's not. It's definitely not made for the modern day. And like, it's just so sad that that's what we're doing to kids. We're like locking them up when they should be, you know. I don't well, know. This it's is built, probably, it's built off the factory system, right? And efficient. I mean, there's a reason for it too. Like, if you want everyone to think the same, it's perfect. If you want to build a nation. It's perfect. Like, Ooh. how do you standardize something where people from New York all the way to LA uh -huh. kind of think the same or have at least the same basics? Right. Yeah. Or at least we all agree on the same history, kind of, mm -hmm. you yeah. know? Yeah. Mm. But for individualistic thinking, nope. for. It sucks. For, yeah. It sucks. Yeah. But it's great nation building. Mm -hmm. Yep.